Hello, everybody. Oh, quite loud. Um, I'm Jean-Philippe Bertocchio. I'm a, a physician from uh, the Hôpital uh, Pitié Salpetrière, close by here. Uh, and uh, I'm also the CEO from, uh, of SCSI. And today's topic is about uh, patient uh, data and how we can uh, move forward the uh, health ecosystem altogether. Um, I really thank my previous colleagues who spoke about uh, health data because I'm pretty sure whenever you think about um, uh, data in health, uh, the first thing you have in mind is mainly imaging or data from um, the electronic uh, uh, health record system, uh, like diagnosis, biology, and every stuff like that. Very important for the healthcare system, but is that really that important for patients themselves? Um, what matters really for them is what they feel, what they, uh, they are living, like what are their symptoms, uh, what is their quality of life, what are their expectations, etc. what is their pain. And all those data usually are not uh, in the health data system you usually think about. So um, at uh, SCSI, we mainly focus on uh, collecting those data. Uh, uh, but the problem for that is usually the software you, you would find um, on the market are uh, either kind of uh, survey, you all know, I'm pretty sure, uh, SurveyMonkey or Google Form or etc., which are not meant for uh, collecting uh, health data, data, but also they are not meant for uh, following up on the same patient, you know, uh, like uh, asking a new question, only very specific question. Uh, they are always, you are just asking the same question to uh, everybody. And the, on the other hand, you have also uh, different uh, software like uh, ECRF software, some of you may uh, be aware of, that are uh, meant for collecting data, structuring data, for clinical research mainly, but their interface is not meant for patients. So usually they will tell you, okay, we have a problem with collecting data directly from patients, like patient reported outcomes, uh, because they don't answer those questions, but the problem is mainly a question uh, of uh, 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 user interface. So what we did at SCSI, we uh, took uh, those two uh, fields, those two kind of uh, softwares, and uh, we built one uh, by itself. And uh, we are not coming from nowhere. I told you uh, at the very beginning that I'm a physician from the APHP, but SCSI is also a spin-off from APHP. Uh, we've been built in 2020. Oh, sorry. I don't have, yes. We've been built in, in, uh, in 2020, but uh, before that, we are from an idea, an original idea from the professor Philippe Bravo and the Dr. Viet Titran. Um, we developed the first cohort called COMPAR, the Community of Patient for Research. And that's when they, uh, they identified that uh, 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 software was lacking in this field, uh, how we can collect uh, uh, structured data, good data quality, but collecting this data di uh, directly from uh, those patients. Uh, and when they found out that uh, this software was very efficient, very popular among researchers, but also uh, uh, for uh, private companies like pharma companies uh, and also uh, hospitals and clinicians, uh, the APHP and uh, uh, the University uh, uh, Paris City uh, uh, choose to uh, build uh, SCSI. And now we are working with more and more uh, companies and researchers and hospitals uh, uh, as we developed uh, the new software, uh, Skesia. Our uh, vision, our main vision is uh, that the, that kind of data, the data from patients, from the caregivers, but also with uh, their helpers and their healthcare professionals, that's uh, the data we need uh, crucially right now uh, that we lack in our uh, health data system. Uh, and they will be able to change the whole uh, healthcare system. And uh, for that, uh, we launched uh, a few weeks ago um, uh, a cohort by ourselves called uh, SCETIS, SCESI Ethics in uh, Health, something in French, uh, in which we are collecting data about quality of life all over uh, France, um, from adults everywhere in France, and we are going to publish those data as publicly available uh, on uh, uh, the Etalab uh, um, platform. Uh, and here is the first uh, results we, we got in a very few weeks. 
Uh, and if you want to know more, just uh, do not hesitate to reach out. Uh, our software is Skezia. Uh, Skezia you can access right now from your uh, smartphone, from tablet, from your computer right now. Uh, it's uh, uh, skezia.io. Uh, part of the software is totally free because uh, we no longer want any uh, researcher, any clinician to use uh, SurveyMonkey or Google Form. We want them to use uh, a software dedicated to uh, health data that is hosted in, uh, in France in uh, uh, HDS uh, servers. Uh, and you can also build by your own, your own cohort. You can uh, build your questionnaire for patients. You can collect patient reported outcome measure, experience measure, but also satisfaction, and whatever data you want, uh, and you can collect uh, from, uh, directly from patients. We are working right now with uh, partners to collect also uh, IoT uh, data. Uh, if you want, please uh, uh, come by. Uh, but Skezia itself is not uh, useful alone. We, we already know that. And we don't have only Skezia and Sketis I already spoke about. We have also another software for um, collecting uh, the tele-expertise, the expertise of uh, uh, physicians, uh, which is actually um, the leader in France for rare diseases. And also another software for uh, virtual biobanking. And all together, those software uh, allows us to uh, build uh, powerful cohorts of patients that we are able to uh, follow up on, on time. But as I told, uh, we cannot uh, do everything by ourselves, and we also have a very uh, uh, useful uh, partnership and strategic partnership that help us to go uh, beyond the those cohorts and those data are uh, collected directly from patients. We really think at SCSI that uh, we really need to uh, be, uh, to be a, a whole ecosystem to be able to answer every question you may have. So um, if you have questions, do not hesitate. And I think we have some time for a few questions right now. And those are people we are already working with. Any question? The room? Okay, I may have one. Has anybody in the room already uh, uh, collected data from directly from patients, like patient reported outcome measures? Do you use them? You do? And you, how do you manage to do it? Is that easy for you to do, to do it? Okay, so you, you also have a, a question about uh, how to link those data to your, uh, I did not hear well, but you, you are collecting those data. Okay, and, uh, and it's successful for you. Hopefully, it's going to be. It's going to, okay. Uh, for research or for clinical use? For clinical use, okay. Okay. Okay, anybody else? Uh, for wh wh what kind of question do you think you can ask a patient? You think you can ask only a question about how they feel, how, they, uh, how is their quality of life? Or you can go beyond that? Can you ask like a TNM uh, stayed uh, in, a, in a cancer of a patient? What kind of histology? for their cancer, oh, usually it's not very useful. Um, but some people have uh, already um, uh, challenged uh, the quality of data you can uh, collect from patients. Uh, there is, I, I told about um, the COMPARE cohort. Uh, in this cohort, they ask uh, some patients to report both what they feel and to go uh, through their uh, um, uh, electronic health record and to uh, look at uh, the quality of the data, and uh, they found out that uh, the, uh, the accuracy of data reported directly by patients is above 95%. So whenever you ask a patient about something, something they can answer, like probably not the histology, but uh, something like uh, uh, the, their medical history, the treatment they receive, etc., they are able at 95% to answer this question. So that's 
a cheap and a very efficient way to collect uh, data for your research. And I think time's out. <laughs>